X Winder, the original desktop filament winder. This video describes how to wind a triple helix pattern and modify the G code file to achieve. We that should only pattern. get three distinct lines. This one basically laying on the first. This would be the second. I believe that's the third. This one should fill that gap. Now, I believe we've got all three helixes on here. Everything else should be an exact duplicate. Yep, that's a duplicate. A duplicate. <clears throat> another duplicate so three identical helixes wrapped around this two inch diameter cardboard tube and it's just going to repeat and repeat and repeat okay let's have a look at that g-code file uh, here it is on my desktop I'm going to right click open with notepad there it is. Um, so all of this information before the begin winding is all setup information which is gen uh, generated with the standard g-code file. We're using a, this is version 2. Um, this brings the carriage to the starting position and the winding begins here. The RPM is set to 30 at this point and the first layer begins here. So during the first layer, all I did was mark the initial position with this command 601. That simply marks the initial angular rotation. The carriage then proceeds at a feed rate of 3 inches per second down to a Z of 18 inches. At that point, it, it basically automatically reverses. This is the... Um, well, let's say it returns to the initial marking angle of 601 and it advances zero degrees and then the carriage returns back to the Z equal 2 position at which point it dwells back to the 601 condition and it rotates itself by zero degrees. Okay, so simple enough on the first pass. On the second pass, again, we proceed down to Z of 18 with a feed rate of 3, but this time we go back to the original marking point, which was 601, and then we advance the mandrel by 120. We return back to the home position of Z equal 2, and then we return the mandrel. We, the carriage then dwells back until the mandrel reaches the initial angle, which was marked here in the first pass, and then it advances it 120 degrees. On the third pass, we do the exact same thing, but in this case, we advance by 240 degrees. So now we basically got our, our, our three pass helix. There are three passes in the first layer. So this code occurs in blocks of three. You'll see this is the second block of three. Again, a zero, everything is the same, but a zero angle advance here, a 120 degree advance here, and a 240 degree advance there. So then that's, this, is, this is pass six of the first layer. So let's look at 7, 8, and 9, which are right here, 7, 8, and 9. So we have a 0, a 120, and a 240. Now what you could do if you wanted a, let's say, a double helix, you could go to 0 and 180, 0 and 180, and repeat this in groups of two. If you wanted a quad helix, for example, you could take a block of four passes and go 0, 90, 180, 270, and so forth. So this is generally how this part, how you can lay down a helix, double, triple, quadruple, etc., on a mandrel and continue to lay each successive filament pass directly on top of the others so you'll have the appearance of the video that uh, is part of this video. That's it for the double, triple, and quad helix and how to modify the G-code. Thanks.